Right now, more than 170,000 people in the U.S. await organ transplants. Joining us to talk about how you can possibly save someone's life through donation is Dr. Trevor Reichman from Oxnard. Good morning. Thanks for coming morning. in so early. Thanks for having me here. Um, why is the waiting list so long? Is it like people just aren't aware, like how they can help, or people are reluctant to do it? I think it's it's more of there's just a huge need um, in, in all of the organs, kidneys, livers, hearts, lungs. Um, there's just a tremendous need, and because of that, we just there's just not enough suitable donors. Louisiana has probably has one of the highest actually donor rates in the country, but it still doesn't come close to, to matching the uh, amount of organs that we need to, to transplant our patients. And what do you see locally in, in, in terms of, of the need, even though we have a, a good record of people mm -hmm. donating, what do you see in terms of the waiting list compared to other cities? We have um, actually, again, you, you know, Louisiana and New Orleans is, is, has probably some of the shortest waiting times um, it really in the region and in the country, but even despite that, we still see people um, depending on the organ that they're waiting for, waiting for uh, could wait up for several years, sometimes right. up to five, six years for a kidney transplant. And any, any particular age group that uh, you, you would find more in need of organ transplants? No, not necessarily. I, I think in general it tends to be older individuals, um, but we do see um, uh, infants as you know, small as, as a couple months old that, that uh, have liver failure that, that uh, need a transplant. So it's really the full spectrum of the ages. Okay. Um, but definitely tends to favor older individuals. So for those who know absolutely nothing about this, mm -hmm. how do you become an organ transplant donor? Um, it's really just registering. Um, it, it's really it's as simple as that. Um, just going down, the, giving to your, your local like DMV and, and saying you want to be an organ donor. Um, there's plenty of information online if anybody has any questions or, or uh, concerns of, about doing it. That there's there's tons of information to, to read about and, and learn more about it. So when you go to the DMV, you have a choice on, on your license. I believe to, so. Yeah. Um, so okay, you've got some qualifications, some basic things we've got it on our screen. You have to be physically fit, right? Mm -hmm. What else? Well, this is for this is actually for uh, living liver donation. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, in, in those cases, we, we take um, this is a, a newer program at Oxter. We basically take half of a liver from a a living donor and are able to transplant that into uh, a, uh, a recipient that needs a liver. And in those cases, those people need to be really physically fit between uh, a certain age group and, and have a compatible blood type. For really, for donors, it, it can really be anybody because really, um, in some patients where a heart might not be suitable, their kidneys might be okay, or you know, vice versa for all different types of organs or tissues. So really, um, we really look at everybody, any, anybody who's a potentially um, or a family that's interested in, in, in donating, um, we're a lot of times willing to look at those individuals. So you have two things, basically two ways you can do it. You, you can make sure, you know, God forbid anything happens to you, your driver's license indicates mm -hmm. what you want to have. Mm -hmm. with, your, with your um, your organs and also if you are alive and you would like to obviously help someone who needs yes. either a, a, a loved one or a close friend family member um, um, either through the most common is, is kidney transplant or kidney donation um, and and now most more recently we've started doing living donor liver transplantation right and at any day we never know when we or our loved ones will probably need that exactly um, so it's something that impacts all of us thank you so mm -hmm. much for coming in and